Well, welcome to Stalingrad. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. You know, the brother of my Gramps, he actually fell on Stalingrad. That's it. I can't really expand on that. I just know that he fell in Stalingrad. So the uh, knowledge of this is akin to I read a book once. If you're like me and you've not played Hearts of Iron, insert previous title. The Battle of Stalingrad is similar to the scenarios from this game where you can just play a small front in depth. That's the thing that I used to do with the older games. Bit of a shame that I don't do it. I will 100% admit I don't know anything about this mod. I only know that it's that we are fighting in Stalingrad. I'm not sure if the UI is correct here. We are close to the final victory. Ooh, nice. Case Blue has been a monumental success. We have swept aside all resistance in this. We have air superiority and an extensive numerical advantage. We must press those advantages as soon as possible before the Soviets have a chance to recover. This is the best advice you will get. The Bolshevik scum will not be able to stand up to superior German Stahl for the Vaterland. German engineering is the best in the world. Army Group South, we are a faction. Uh, okay. I thought there was a setting where you could disable the day cycle. I never was the brightest. We can do a river invasion. How are we supposed to do this? We don't have boats. Do we have boat yards? Can I build dockyards? Okay, we could technically create a navy. Let's take a look at our focus. Ooh, they did this thing. Fan monarchist sentiment? Why? Interesting. The conscription laws are actually beneficial to get. So the more that we are gonna deal damage to the Soviet, the easier of a time they will have to defend. That is honestly an interesting concept. I think I do prefer the base mechanics simply because then at some point it will grind down. But you know, for the purposes of this scenario, I think that's okay. Like there's a lot of stuff that we can click. Why can I not click this? Resources, there's no market, okay. Oh, that's the old. XP values. 20 would do seem very good here. Seven twos, if I do remember it correctly. In terms of, we only have two research slots. We're Germany. Oh God, researching is fast here. Yeah. There's so much I want to do, so much to fix. Yes, screw the industry right now. Plus I'm sure all of these nice buffs will not be nice forever. I'm sure they will at some point become not nice buffs. Right, who do we have to offer? Paulus. Ah yes, I have heard of you. As I said, I don't know a lot about Stalingrad. It's in Russia. Two million people died there. Oh, and Soviet propaganda. Oh, generals have 40 slots. Oh my god, and there's no limit on field marshal commander generals things. Yes, there's another pocket. I, oh god. Because of the day cycle thing, I actually do have a bit of trouble seeing everything. I can't make a front line here. <laughs> this part of the Soviet zoo will just stick around. Wait. We have to invent the rowing boat. And then let's just build in the 100% areas if possible. Okay, let's just this one. Okay, let's put a few on trains now. Let's first research trains. That is actually a decent start. We don't even have to do much here. We have cannon twos already? Oh my. Considering we are fighting in Stalingrad, I think Winter Expert is very nice to see. This hour time is going by way too fast. Probably shouldn't play on speed. There we go. We have already won Stalingrad. We are doing much better than Hitler did, maybe. How would I know? I wasn't there. We don't need recon on those guys. That's a waste. Signals on you are also useless. Logistics are very good. Relieve a few of these. We go down to 20 width and then send you here. Actually, no, not you. Here. There we go. We have to supply up here. I'm fine with holding this front. Oh, there's a straight here. Nice. So we don't even have to research naval animations. I honestly don't like that we're pushing this hard. Stalingrad should be hard. If we're doing this so well right now, then that means at some point it's gonna be super hard. Oh, we get a core here. Ugh. 
I mean, we get resources, that's very nice. So we can do this funky thing, increasing the threat level. I don't know what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna go for a small encirclement here. Four speed, just to make managing these two fronts easier. That was a bit too quick. We have secured the pocket. That's probably gonna be one of our strongest assets, just pocketing Soviets. That's interesting that they give me a warning here that a new front will open up on the southern edge of the map. Here? They don't have supply, but if we can just push through here, then these are all encircled. Yes. Then let's clean up this pocket. Still don't have any supply because, uh, I mean, logistics fulfillment. Because who needs trains? I feel like we should have researched them at this point already, but no, 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 no. You shouldn't go down here. You should stay here. That's your front. Here's the straight. There's... Actually, this one, not this one. Here's two. There's another one. And there's two. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. And uh, let's try and get this thing. Oh, we are getting tight. Yeah, no, no, no. Chill, 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 chill. Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We are getting into very sneaky territory here. You go here, you go here. You start closing in. Two per month? Actually, do we get trains somewhere? Please tell me we get trains somewhere. No. Yeah, we need at least one per week, honestly. Okay, we do have to pocket. It is quite fragile, but not that fragile. You can stop pinning, you can stop pinning. And boop, you are all soil. Hold the phone. Push, my friends. Push, 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 push. That's a lot of damage, Daisu. Yes, I was waiting for this. And we just need command power for it. These are all encircled now. It would be kind of fun to know where Hitler was at this point. Probably I will say I uncomfort. really enjoy it thus far. It's much more focus on smaller gains, you know? Less draw a big arrow and more, oh yeah, think where you sent your units and also stockpile management, which I'm not doing too much yet, but it's mostly a thing that I keep in the back of my mind with decisions. <gasps> we have a train! That I do. There we go. They are all encircled. I mean, they have been for a while now, but now we are capitalizing on it. And we can give them supply problems. I don't think we need to give them that. Not even modern Russia needs a focus for that. It's just inherent. Ugh. They have countered our encirclement. Oh, the Soviets are actually starting to attack us. Interesting. The 4th Panzer Army has arrived. Oh my god, that's a front line. Emphasis on the line part. You know what I'm gonna try? Something funky. So far, I'm very happy about Stalingrad. Send you here, you stay here. Did I not tell you? It's gonna suck that we lose land now. But it is all part of the great plan. This might be bad. Oof, yeah, we don't have... I should have made a save point. <laughs> that was my plan. I wanted to pocket them. I wanted them to escape the pocket, you know? But it honestly might have been stupid. Uh, but that's fine, that's fine. Oh, logistics guy! Yes, please! Okay, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> ah, eh, whatever. I guess I missed that part. Don't think there's anything I can do here because... Supply? I think we're just gonna auto the north. With that, we have also encircled these guys. And I'm gonna try and take this now. Okay, I'm gonna stop this attack now. The old history path! Victory for the Germans! Yes! But we can only get this if we convince the Fuhrer and we get the 10% proc. Ah, but I want this one. I want to convince the Fuhrer. Oh, I have to back again. Sometimes the front lines stick around even though you have captured something. The only way to remove this front line is to remove every front line because I can't select this front line because there's no front line here. This whole Stalingrad business is piss easy. How did you lose Hitler? Just look at this. 140 kills? There's no way we can lose this. I'm gonna try cutting them off here. You two just stay. Actually, don't! Just push. There we go. Take this tile and suddenly they're encircled. <laughs> I really appreciate that we can just have one field marshal for all of this. It also makes sense, you know. Paulus is the head of the Stalingrad offensive. So, you know, it, it makes sense that we only have one head of the offensive. There we go. We have taken everything. I'm just gonna send a few units over here. Let's cross the river. Not a front. Remove this tile and then just attack downwards just so we can get our core that we want we get 15k manpower the main benefit is we can just get a bunch of other <laughs> gotten king red war two men one recruitable oh actually nice 10k infantry equipment or oh, seven percent breakthrough oh my i feel like i broke something 10 out of two days okay it worked 
Keep on building mills. We don't need anything else. Oh god, this is gonna suck. There's too many fronts now. Yeah, let's let's just stop pushing here and instead try not get encircled. We just chill here. I'm gonna send you two here. Instead of defending this straight, we can defend this. We can use cannons too, but we don't have cannons too. That's some Warhammer 40k orc logic right there. One front, one type of front. That should be the first unit that we lose. Unless we can save them, but I don't see that. We don't have anything in position right now. Oh, uh, we can even go for another one here. Ah, uh, I don't like this. We're overextending. <laughs> we can't even go down to local importance. Now you all please go to this front, and then we can make another arrow. I don't know what happened over here, but... Uh, fine. That's one unit. Actually, we can probably save them. Hitler remains adamant. But I really like those buffs, man. And I don't want additional attrition. Oh, I didn't even see that one here. There's another straight. We are starting to clear everything. We just need to, you know, like, next goal is probably to just link these two fronts up or these four fronts. No, I meant this front and this front and this front and this front. And at some point also these three fronts. But I just... I'm not confident in pushing here because of the supply and there's no supply ups up here. Oh my god! Look away for two seconds and encircled you are. It's looking like another fine encirclement on this day. Oh, why did they retake this tile? Oh no! I think that worked. I don't have 5 billion front lines now. I'm gonna be lazy for a second because we already dealt 230k damage. I'm just gonna make a push here, see see where we end up. Save myself some sanity. Oh, another army stack. Yes, please. Oh, what the fuck? 5 speed is dangerous. We're not encircling anything, but come on, just look at this. Winter setting in around Stalingrad. Another record-breaking winter is approaching, with temperature reaching as low as minus 40 degrees. Jesus. I looked at it earlier and I was like, there is no frontier, right? Oh, there was one. Wow. Uh, I suppose they are hilfs, private. I had 40 units here. No. Yeah, because they wanted to join this front, but they never could because of supply. Let's make another save, because I don't know what happens if I press this button. Then we can get campaign defining, this thing, this button. Oh, so many buttons to press. Can I link you, please? No, I can't. Okay, that's fine. Let's do this and then just drop all of you on this front. Stop you. Try and get the this stack, because if these are all encircled and these are free, then the war is won. Like, Stalingrad is ours. Wouldn't even have to play with the rest of this. Winter has arrived in Stalingrad. Minus 25 org, minus 35 entrenchment, 33% additional supply consumption. Oh, come on. Losses? We've been pushing a lot. Minus 15% infantry attack. Oh, fuck. There was another front. Arr. I think the best part about this mod is I won't have to hear the naval invasion sound at all. Downside is I will have to find out where all of these straits are. <laughs> come on, boys. We're almost there. Chap, chap. Winter storm commences. I kind of want to press this button because I don't know what's going to happen. Soon, every front is connected, will be connected, is going to be connected. Scientists have been trying to understand my humor for years, but I don't think they ever will. Can probably also just go for something like this here. Another sneaky encirclement. There we go, we don't need this one anymore. Oh, actually the front moved, nice. I did not sh I fucked up just now. Again though, I want a big encirclement here. We can get all of these divisions. Then this is gonna be Stalingrad, you know? Just the way my family experienced it. I've got this pocket. I've got this pocket! Ah, stupid little AI! I'm so much smarter than you! <laughs> with my brains oh, oh, and you with coding from a drunk Swede. I can just choose 10 of my chip factories, 4 of my mill factories for 7 days. Oh, I want this focus on House of Iron 4. I guess we just need to wait 5 DLCs and then Tibet will have a focus like this. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the loss is better. But yeah, just give me more time. Ah, uh, the Russians are starting to sweat in the cold. But they don't have to worry, I cannot speak Finnish. I can only speak Deutsch and English and Spanish. Oh, let's just recover from winter. It's that simple. Ah, uh, the thing is, like, this is genuinely better. Losing. You don't get anything here, you get stab. We can shoot Hitler, like, that's good. We are close to defeat. Are we, though? The ahead of time penalties are insane. <laughs> 34 days, 254. And congratulations. They're at 400 losses right now. And of course, the modern Blitzkrieg. 
I guess they haven't updated this mod in a while, huh? From one of the focuses we got research speed buff, but uh, we don't have research speed on doctrines anymore. <laughs> Veteran Alpini regiments. <laughs> Alpini. And whoop, pocket has been pretty much cleared. 120k Russia. Wait, where, where did where did those pockets come from? None of those units should have moved. Build MP43s with whatever we have, just so we get better infantry equipment. And the rest can just stay on this one. Oh, you know what? Let's just attack. If we do it properly, we can... There we go. They're now all encircled. So, we're sitting at 48k losses versus 662k. And honestly, I'm just gonna push on auto for a while now. Because I... Like, what's the point? And boop. I said boop. <laughs> They've even pushed through here. Oh my, what the? <laughs> We've cleaned up everything here. Taking casualties, yeah. Decent morale now. But again, like, I can micro more, but also I want this game to end at some point. Just sucks that all of these front lines are now getting screwed over. Russian reinforcements are arriving. Okay. Oh, counter encirclement. That's my focus name. Because I'm the only Hearts of Iron player that uses encirclements. Ah, uh, no, just, you also just take everything yeah look at that speed resources we're still missing steel but it's gonna get better i promise question mark at this point this has devolved into street fighting with some of these front lines not making any sense anymore whatsoever we actually have artillery now and infantry Ooh. and then boop and boop and another boop. These are also encircled. The base start date seems to be relatively easy. Just have to encircle a few Russian divisions and then you've won. Who would have thought that taking your time is actually beneficial for you in an attack like this? These guys are... Once we have this tile, they should also be... Oh, I just clicked and they went there. Now just attack, please. Oh, we are almost at the capital. And just look at the green and the speed. Like ants. The tractor factory has fallen. That's bad if that were to happen to the Ukrainians. I'm just gonna walk into the capital, see what happens. Oh, more world tension. Low morale now. We finally have negative buffs. Also known as debuffs. Jesus, there's so many pockets here. Because of all the straights. Straights don't work in Hearts of Iron 4. It just sucks. But we've cleared up everything up here. <laughs> oh, finally, some Russians. So we can also start a front line here. No, oh, there's still pockets up here. Sorry, guys. Didn't see that. There's only no one here. You can also leave. Just a shame about those three islands. I can't take them. I can't take them with naval invasions, but I don't get... No. There we go. You join. And I think it's time for another auto push. Let's get him. I kind of hope that you would be able to do this faster so that's why i didn't bother with setting up a proper line here uh, but it looks like it didn't matter honestly in multiplayer this could be super fun if we just give everybody uh one of those front lines and then you're like yeah okay let's group up group up around there and then boom 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 oh fuck there's another front here oh uh i kind of okay i kind of expected a little bit more resistance and no event for taking salmon that's okay I uh, didn't point them anyway. I guess this is the scenario Stalingrad mod. Link in the doobly-doo. A super fun mod. We have dealt 1.2 million casualties. And we've conquered 100% of the world. God, Hitler was bad. What gave you that idea?